do you have any other questions? Uh, no. Uh, the, uh, I think you have an understanding of what I'm talking about. It's, like I say, it's what Don Siegelman was just sent to prison for, partly, is uh, honest services mail fraud. Right. A, a judge cannot make blatantly incorrect decisions that, that, where he does not have the discretion and then use the U.S. mails to send that stuff. And then okay. Jesse Evans sat there and they just let it happen. Now, um, I understand everything you've told me and I believe you. And But that is your justification on this. But do you understand that we personally cannot do anything to assist you other than trying to get this American Express bill handled. I just want, I don't want you to think because I work for an attorney that you reporting wrongdoing is automatically going to be reported to the Bar Association or to Angie no, no, Ingram. No, okay, no. I just want to make sure that we're clear because, I, like I said, I can't put my employer in an awkward position because of her, her relationship with American Express is that she is their attorney and these accounts are sent to us for suit and what I have done with you is to establish a justification for possibly setting up payment arrangements and I've got some information that I'll need to, to, to tweak a little bit, but I want for you and Carol to sit down and discuss how you want to handle this. I will be happy to work with you in any way I can if we need to establish some payment arrangements until you can get the balance on it. If you don't want to borrow the money and you want to establish payment arrangements, but you need to understand if we go forward, you, there will be a lien on your property and we will garnish your wages, 25% of your disposable income. I don't want you to be upset with me for any reason and tell me that I've not given you an opportunity. So let's plan on speaking no later than Friday the 20th, which is next a week from tomorrow, that will give you and your wife ample time to possibly check into lenders and to discuss your financial situation. Does that sound like fair? Uh, well, yeah, I, I disagree with you, though, about uh, Ms. Uh, Ingram. I believe she has an obligation to report. She doesn't have an obligation to report wrongdoing because I'm not going to be reporting it to her, okay? This is not going any further than the notes that are in here and my manager. I'm not going to be reporting what happened to you to Ms. Ingram because it is a conflict of interest for her, okay? She's hired by American Express to sue you and... If you provide information that is detrimental to her, then that's a conflict of interest. You, on the other hand, are free to uh, uh, file complaints, do whatever you choose under the law against these people that have, have, wrong, have wronged you. But I'm not going to bring Angie into this because, like I said, it is a conflict of interest. Her duty is that to American Express. And she also has a duty to the profession of the law. And, and I can got assure it. you, her, she is an honorable woman and her reputation is impeccable. And if she knew firsthand, if she had firsthand knowledge, I can assure you she's the first one that would be uh, reporting. Well, I've but got this, first -hand knowledge. I can show her. And she doesn't want to see that, sir. She wants to see some type of commitment from you on the debt. Okay? So we need to well, stop. We need wait to just stop. a minute, Tracy. Now, now, we've had a pleasant conversation. But you all have, the woman that called me this morning threatened to lean on my house, and this, that, and the other. I haven't threatened you. I, I, did, I said the woman who called your supervisor who called me this morning threatened that. And I'm telling you, Ms. Ingram or any other attorney there has an obligation. I'm looking at, I don't care who sir, I'm a, is. Sir, I'm aware of the law. I'm I more, than you, more than you'll ever know. And, and I'm that, reading it right here. And she has an obligation. She has inserted herself into my life. And I'm telling her what the reason why this debt is there. And it's because of criminals in the legal profession. And she has an obligation. She now, has an obligation if she has first-hand knowledge, sir. I'm in a conversation. First -hand I will talk to you on Monday, on Friday the twentieth. Well, not going any lawsuit. further. Mrs. Ingram is not going to be involved in your uh, witch hunt. Okay, you do what you need to do with the process. Now, look, Tracy, you're not going to start calling me a witch hunt. You're going to get a piece of process. Sir, 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 s